Game on. Hey there, game gurus. Welcome back to the channel. Well, it's good news if you own some of the GRS products and the II Arcade machines. If you have the GRS Ultimate Control Panel and the GRS KVM Viper Switcher Board, you know the one issue we had was we couldn't get the volume control to work. And that was because, well, I arcade run a business and we couldn't get information on tech, the technical information we needed to make that part work. So unfortunately, when we released everything, it wasn't available. But we don't give up. When you purchase our stuff, we always try and improve, try and give you the best value for the money. We figure out how to do it. So there's two things you're going to need. One is you need to upgrade your Viper to the latest version of Arcade. And that is version 2.0.4. It's very easy to do. You go into the menu button, go on your system settings over here, and you go under check for upgrade. Boom. Now, it's going to search right now, but it's not going to find you for mine because I'm already on 2.04. And to see what version you're on at, just go up to the very top where it says support menu and click system information. And you can see on mine right here, it says 2.04. Yours will probably say 2.03 most likely. But in any case, you have to download that. That happens very easy. It's all automatic and done. The second thing you do need to do is you need to upgrade the firmware on our KVM switcher board. Fortunately, it is not difficult. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. It takes a few seconds, but there's a couple steps to the process. And you can use a PC or Mac. Now, I'm going to use a PC because I don't have a Mac. But the software is available for both. It's just based. We're going to connect uh, a USB cable between the KVM to your laptop or PC, whatever you have. Push your little firmware update. That's it. And you can see right now, this is already done. Volume up. Volume down on the Viper side. So that's kind of cool. And that's not a really big thing. But it was a little inconvenient to go around the machine. You've got to adjust the volume back there. It's just we don't like to do things that way. So we're going to do it here on. The legacy unit, this one right here, has not had the firmware done on it just yet. So we go back to right over here. So there's nothing you need to do on here. Because again, I've already upgraded this to 2.04 of the Viper Arcade software. So that's already done. So let's see what we need to do to get this to work and get it working. So the volume controls work on this side, which right now they don't. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we have the the ultimate control panel here. Now, there's a couple of different joystick modes built in. The Xbox mode is the one we need to have it in, but that's where the volume buttons don't work. So we do have other options on here. So we need to put the ultimate control panel in the right mode. And the right mode is where, it's, where the volumes work. So to do that, we're just going to hold down the volume up and volume down button for about 10 seconds. We'll hold them down, but you'll notice the volume will work at that point. And that's the mode you want to be in. Just hold down for about 10 seconds. You can see now, the volume does work, but it's not going to be the right mode for all the buttons to work. So this, that's all we needed. We just needed to make sure the volume does work now. That means we're in the right mode. So the next thing we need to do is we're going to go to the back of the machine and do something really quick. Okay, now it's very busy back here because I do a lot of, I do a lot of things back here uh, for testing and other things. But this is the original unit. So I have my original board. I do have the mystery encoder board. And if you do have one of these, it would be even easier you have a USB-C cable right at the ready. If not, you are going to need a USB-C cable. So we have the A and B. Now, A is when it's being used for the arcade and B is being used for the Viper. So we need to unplug the, uh, the B right here. And that is going to it's just a USB-C cable. Got to unplug that. And just be careful because static electricity, you don't want to make any mistakes with that. So pull that off. Now, you need a USB-C cable. I'm going to use this one here from my, my team encoder board. I'm just going to plug it in over here. It's a good high quality cable. And I'm just going to slide that in until it clicks. There we go. So that's really all I have to do back here. Now we're going to run the firmware and we're almost done. Okay, so right now, see the joystick doesn't work so we disconnected it. But that's okay. We now have this USB cable A on this end. So I'm going to come to my computer over here. Make sure it's not asleep. So once you download the software, this is it right here, the KVM update. It's two folders, one for the Mac OS, one for the PC. I'm going to use the one for the PC, obviously, because I have a PC. So I'm going to go inside here, and you can see the TS Updater version 1.03.11exe. You need to actually install this. This is an installable program. You install that, and this is going to be our firmware here. This will be the firmware that works on both the Legacy and the Gold unit. So we're going to get that installed right now. So I'm going to take this cable, plug it into my USB port. That's all you got to do. Find my USB port over here. There we go. Now, once you get installed, you'll run the application. It's a very simple interface. All you need to do is click on this right here, 
firmware upgrade, pick our firmware, and it's going to automatically do everything for you. It goes into the bootloader, it says succeeded, downloading, that's it. It is done. So now let's take a look at the machine itself. Okay, we're now back to the rear of the machine. Now you're you have, going to have to disconnect USB cable and put mine back on my encoder board right here from Mystery Team Encoder. So pull that out. There we go. And put that back over here. Now, if you don't have that, obviously you can just take out your cable. We have to rem remember to put this one back in because without this, the joystick is not going to be able to communicate with the KVM. So we need to put that back in. I'll do my best I can one-handed over here. Here we go. Back in place. Now we have to put the joystick back in the original mode. Okay, now that we're back to the front, we need to press the two buttons again to put it back into the Xbox mode. So we're going to press these down again for about 10 seconds. That's it. Volume up. Volume down. Find a good level. Pick a game. Volume up. Volume down. That's it. That's the upgrade. So that's it. So once again, GRS and T-Sticks are always looking to improve. We don't stop. We try to get you more features whenever we can. And we've done it. Volume up. Volume down. Volume up. Volume down. I know it's something so small, but it's important. So I want to thank all the people in the IRK community who did support this. Now, I know people have been asking when we're doing another pre-order for the control panel and the KVM. I'll let you know we are working on it. We have a lot of projects going on right now. I will say when there's a pre-order that we do that and it's something you want, I would get into the initial pre-order because it's going to take us a while to get back to the things that, well, you may have missed out on the original pre-order because we're always trying to innovate. We're always trying to come out with things new. But don't worry, we are going to be making more. Go, Make sure you subscribe go, to the go, channel. Go, you always want to know updates go, and when these things are going to happen. Go, go, that's it for go, today's episode. Uh, if you did, again, support this, I hope you're very happy with having your volume on the front. I know I am. But that's it. Remember, as fun as these things are, remember to tell your family and friends that you love them. Tomorrow is never promised. But in between those times, hell yeah, man. Turn up the volume. And game on.
looking for that arcade experience at home, but you don't have the space for a full-size arcade in your house or endless funds, then you need the GRS build a -Cade. It's arcade quality without the arcade price, from someone you can trust. The GRS build a -Cade is very simple and easy to assemble one six scale arcade computer you can build yourself. You can buy interchangeable controllers for every gaming option you need to play the games the way they're meant to be played. You can also design your own artwork or purchase artwork separately to make your GRS build a -Cade look like the machine of your dreams. The GRS build a -Cade is also the only home system STEM certified. Come see what all the YouTube creators are raving about. GRS build a -Cade. I just love talking to the vendors because we're supporting real people here. You know, these are people's passion projects. These are people's companies. These are the things that we pour our life into to share with others. Um, so it's really beautiful to see. It's really beautiful to see. And one thing that I really want to show you over here, let's take a look at these mini cabs. Because last night I was playing them. I was blown away. These cabinets are amazing. I have got to show you my favorite one, which is right here, Robotron. This one is incredible. Although I love NBA Jam, I love Mortal Kombat, Don Kong Jr., Arkanoid. This is fun with the paddle. All of these buttons work. So you actually press the button to put the coin in, and then you press start. I'm telling you, this is like the authentic mini experience. So, and then the game starts up, and then you play. Look at this. And then you can customize this. There's so many amazing things that you can customize with this. And there's like stuff on the back. You can it, put a controller. It comes with a racing wheel. There's the, ro the roller ball attachment. You've even got mini guns. Like if you're playing a light gun game. I mean, it's got it all. It's got it all. It's really incredible. This is a really amazing machine. Hey, does anybody want to chat for a second about these amazing machines here? I mean, it's totally cool. I could try and get my dad here. I just texted him. Yeah, you just texted him? We'll come back. We'll come back. But it's an actually, if you, so if you look at the back of the badge, they're on the back of the badge. So yeah, do, can you tell us a little bit about your booth? Or the name of your company? So we're here uh, with Glenn's Retro Show. Okay. Um, we make um, new controllers for older games. New controllers for older games. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. And I really, really love all of these arcades here. I got to say, Star Trek is also one of my favorites, too. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for your time.